Wow. <laughs> just, just why? Why every video does this happen? Hey, I'm Trumps. Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And I've got this given to me recently by Pizza Snow. It's not a Pokemon, that's a person. And this is the Nailer. It's one of the hydraulic weapons that was out a while ago now. And lots of people just went for the Hydra, and obviously for the Dam Buster as well. And this little beast got overlooked here, and it's pretty decent. Believe it or not, it is actually an assault rifle, even though I thought at first it was a pistol. Um, but look at this. It's Sunbeam, so it's maxed out. This is completely maxed up to the top. It's got the crit damage on there as well, so crit rating and crit damage magazine size 75 percent it's got energy damage on there and it's also got on there damage to stunned and staggered targets and getting five headshots in a row increases the range weapon damage by 30 percent for 10 seconds now usually i would go first shot reel as you guys know because i want the fire rate and one thing that stands out on this weapon for me is assault weapon hydraulic a slow firing high impact automatic rifle with a large magazine size now that can work but really the the kind of rate of fire is massively important so i'm going to use the urban assault headhunter for this one because i think that's going to be important it's got a 30 percent uh 38 percent critical hit chance on there and it's got 257 percent critical hit damage but that's because we have actually got if we look in the actual slots over here so we go to heroes i'm still learning to work all this out but we've actually got birthday brigade ramirez in there just to bump up the critical hit on there as well so we're going to change this one out and uh, we're going to put the urban assault in there 106 that's absolutely fine because we're only going to be doing a 90 something mission what we're going to be doing is this one so a 90 94 mission we're power level 98 i might jump over to the uh, 100 again what i tend to do in these gun reviews is if there's if the actual weapon's not holding up very well in the area i'll just stay in the uh, in that area, you know, in the area that we're in here, in the 94 area. If it's too easy, then we'll jump over to the 100 and see how it does on there. So stay tuned and let's see how the nailer performs in game. Okay, now we've gone into a private mission. So, do you know, we're not going to be bugging anyone by running off and shooting stuff. So we can sh we can shoot as freely as what we like. And I've not even fired this weapon before. It's at max durability. Look, I've not even over here. fired it. Oh my days! Thanks again for your I help. thought you were going to be see difficult. All right, we've still got some frame drops. You guys seeing that? Wow. <laughs> just, just why? Why every video does this happen? There was no need for that whatsoever. Okay, we can, uh, we can edit that out, right? <laughs> hey, there we go. Now, there's a good start. So, we've actually got here a blaster. Oh, that feels weird. Oh, this is weird. Okay, that's not... Oh, another blaster over there. Okay, I got him. I got him. The fact it's got very little recoil on it's good. Reload is sluggish. Um, all right, let's keep going. Okay, I think the headshot and crits are helping this. Oh, he's there. Look, I was looking for him. Chest. Nope, bag space. All right, that was a little bit worrying. I don't feel we were being our best self with that weapon. <laughs> I hate that phrase. Be your best self. Be your best self. All right, let's go. All right, I can understand why people like this. I really can. But I'm, I'm just finding it difficult. I suppose for the headshots in the Urban Assault, this is actually pretty good. I mean, it wiped those out like they were nothing. That's pretty good. The good thing about the Urban Assault Headhunter is as well, if you actually get the headshots, then it's pretty good because you actually get the increased rate of fire by just landing one headshot. But look at that reload. Not bad. Not when you can say reload a Death Stalker like this, look. That's a reload. So let's just fire them both. So fire a few out of that, a few out of that. Right, so reloading the Deathstalker. Done. Reloading the Nailer. Okay, I guess in the heat of battle, it won't, it won't make a massive difference. It could just feel like an age in the wrong situation. I don't know. Okay, well, down there looks fun. So let's go and take that lot out. Oh my God. Right, okay. All right, there's a lot going off down here believe there's an encampment nearby as well all right so we'll take you out got to get them headshots this is where the gun may be failing i may be failing the gun rather than the gun failing me because <laughs> you've got to land those headshots right i mean look if i can line these up here take this guy out and just land in there you know land those headshots look the rate of fire becomes pretty good yep i know i'm right here look don't wave at me i can see <laughs> Right, let's do this. So these are fire elementals as well. Stop it. Oh, I see him. Look, just stop. 
So look, he's gonna have to go. Oh god, messy gun. It's kind of like, it feels a bit like a mishmash. It's not a terrible gun. The damage is okay. Alright, I'm still getting a few frame drops. It's not as bad as it was though. This is more playable now. Um, Alright, look, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's just chuck a grenade in. I've got the double agent on, so I've got the impact grenades as well, which is better. Okay, let's try the Death Stalker. Wow. See, even the survivor said wow. He knows. Okay, we'll make these the last ones, and I'm going to take it up to a PL100. So we're getting the headshots in there for the rate of fire. Good. I feel like we've just opened up. All right, that's not too bad. Has it got piercing on there? All right, we've just opened up an encampment. Well, that's not good. Here, have a grenade. All right, and we're just going to regulate the flow of husks here. By running away. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's try on that. Let's just try on that encampment. We'll have to target the blaster when it comes out, but let's see if the nailer has got the minerals to actually do it. Now he's come around that side. Alright, let's just get let's just get the fluff out of the way. Come on. Oh god damn it. Alright. All right, look, we've got no choice. We're going to have to... Oh. It just doesn't feel right. Okay, so this is PL100 then. We'll see what you got. I like what you got. Oh, the rate of fire is definitely better. I mean, it's decent, right? 35k each time it hits. I mean, that's good. Wow, that was like 119k. The range on it's decent. What was that aim? <laughs> this is why I don't play BR. All right, look, there's two blasters up there. Reload slowly. There we go. And let's see what we can do with these guys. Just take Baseball Dan out there. Two Baseball Dans. Love it. Okay, let's phase you out. Oh, God. All right, okay. Just go around and get him. Need to keep the other blaster like at bay here. Look at the reload. That's what I'm talking about. All right, good. I mean, my playstyle is more about reload. You know, for those of you that watch me regularly, that's what I go for. I do like the faster reload speed. But, you know, if you want to put out max damage, if you're min-maxing, then magazine size is definitely the way to go. Okay, we lived. We didn't die, so that's, that's a plus. Oh, there's another blaster down there, look. I mean, don't forget as well, this hasn't got damage to mist monsters. Take a... Oh, this is just... Look, we are going to die now. That's because I said we didn't die. <laughs> so this is in a PL100. Okay, so we've got a Taker. And a Blaster. Look, we've got the high ground and everything. You should auto win if you have the high ground, right? That's just how it is. <laughs> All right, let's look at some actual numbers then, and then we'll call it because... You know. Okay, I'm going to make this. <laughs> I've made a safety box. So let's look. So 20 odd thousand usually if you hit them flush. Okay, I need to hide. There you go. 30,000. So I mean the damage on it is okay. I mean it's much obviously better when it crits. Let's get it from over there. It can easily do like, you know, 100k. Or well over 100k. Close to maybe 120k. Who does that? That's why I die in BR when I'm poking my head over the top. Let's get in closer. Look at this BR push. <laughs> right there. He's going to fall off, isn't he? Alright, look. The numbers are good. The numbers are okay. It's just not... It's the feel of the weapon. It just doesn't feel right. Okay, look. Here's what I've got. That's the Taker. We had loads of trouble with the Taker earlier. He just completely took us out. So I'm going to use the Tiger, which is another slow firing weapon that we've got on there. We go and look. It just pummels. And now this has got mist monsters on it. Don't get me wrong. But this is much, much better. It's much weightier. Do you know, it's a very meaty gun. But if we put the Nailer on... Alright, I guess it has its place. It has its place. 
I can see, I can one hundred percent see why people love it. It's just not for me. This one, I don't think. <laughs> okay, look, I can't find any smashes to take these out on. So let's just take a bunch of mobs out. Now, I've deliberately not reloaded because I want to kind of show off the reload time. Propane. All right, let's get these headshots in. I mean, look, it's quite fast firing when you actually get the headshots in there, right? So that's not the end of the world. Let's keep going. All right, that was that was averaging about 43k at that range, which isn't bad. I just feel like I said he should be doing a little bit more. I know we said last mobs, but when we first say last mobs, it's never really last mobs. These are the real last mobs. So let's just get these as well. So we're PL in a PL 100 zone. I think we're PL 98 or something like that. 97, 98, 90, 98. I don't know. All right. So look, when you get the rate of fire on it, it actually can do quite well. Doesn't just it just doesn't melt melt, you know? Like for me, the gun to beat would be like the the Silent Spectre. I mean, that's the one that I use all the time. And just look how fast that just dispatches enemies. It's just so fast. And it's silent. This guy's not even woke up. <laughs> that's the competition, you know. So when you've got guns available to you like that, there's just no there's just no reason you would pick the nailer up. So if we just take the first couple out here, look, with the nailer. So if we go like this, look. So, I mean, that's okay. That's not bad. But then, instead, I mean, this is... The only problem with the Spectre is the range, obviously. Look, I mean, that's just so much quicker at dispatching enemies. Quick reload. And straight through. Done. So good in all situations. If ever you're getting crowded, you just whip this bad boy out and then you're pretty much safe. All right, then, guys. So that was the nailer. I mean, I, under I understand it. I get it. I think this one, uh, this damage to stun, staggered, and knockdown targets probably would have been much, much better if it had damage to mist monsters on it. Maybe that would have been a game changer on there. But I just think there's better alternatives to this weapon than that are out there. It's still a really good gun. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty decent. Just doesn't quite feel right compared to the newer versions of the guns that have come out since. But, you know, I do like to try out new things. I like to show you guys all the different ones. Maybe you've got this one in your, you know, in your inventory and you're not sure whether to actually level it up or not. I would probably say not. There's better ones out there or you could get better. But it's totally down to you guys and you know, make it your choice. Comment down below. Maybe I'm wrong. I know this, this gun has got a big fandom. Loads of people love this gun and I get it. And massive thanks to Pizza Snow for letting me try that out. Guys, if you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Put your comments down below and let me know what you think on the nailer. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching today, guys. Herb and a uh, salt. Herb and a uh, salt. Herb and a salt. <laughs> I don't know why that entertains me. It just does. Cause it's breaking up my heart to see you. Fill her up if you'd so be so kind. I need to get, I need to get back, back up in those clouds.